Hello, welcome. This video is to guide you on how to perform a core analysis using Looker, creating it from scratch. From scratch, provided that you have the data available in your explorer. Um, for this tutorial, we prepare uh, an explorer a core analysis, but uh, the only requirement to perform a core analysis is that you are able to cohort it. To do that, uh, essentially, you just need to have a notion of users in your data and a notion of orders, for example. And with the users, you need to have something uh, that signifies the creation of the user, like a created date. By clicking it, I'm adding it to the visualization. And then for orders, I also need to add a created date. In our case, we have it in order items. And then this is with, where when the order was created, and this is when the user was created. Then to make counts, uh, let's do this example uh, saying that we're trying to, to calculate uh, the amount of money per cohort that you're earning. So a good metric will be total sell price. You will also be, you will also be able to do it by order count. Uh, but for now, let's do total sell price. Now, if I run this, I'm able to visualize the data once it runs. Now, you have users created, you have order items created, and you have procs. You are, pop, you are halfway there. If we go to table, we're able to visualize this as a table, but a very nice feature of Looker is pivoting the data. So I'm going to pivot this data by, by created date. And just so we don't make it that granular, I'm just going to remove created date and let's do something uh, that involves month, for example. Like we could do years, but in this example, let's just do month. Perfect. And I'm going to pivot the created pivot. Now, by pivoting, we're going to have the month. And then we are going to be splitting the data by created loop. Cool. Finally, we have a nice cover of user created versus the orders that they created. Now, to make this more appealing, uh, we probably don't want to look have way too many columns uh, in pivoted columns. So what we can do is we can filter the users and we can filter by date and we can say it's in the past year, for example, or it's in the past month, that's the 12 months. And with this, we will shorten our data. And then we will be able to see users created this month in a nice curve that will tell us how much they are actually buying this new user that we're acquiring. And we can say how we can see the evolution of the users. Now, eh, this table is nice and can give us nice insight, but we can take the power of Looker and we can try to make a visualization. Now, for a core analysis, one that I like is the area one. The area allows me to have really, really nice, uh, a really nice layout, but uh, this is not what we want. Essentially, uh, good. we have to go into edit and click stack. And this way we stack the flow of users and we can see how a specific cohort that we receive on February, how much they are yielding us in the subsequent months and so forth. Well, this is how simple it is to create a cover analysis. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy the content, please do us a favor and give us a like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Also, if you have any specific questions, please drop them down in the comments so that we can answer them for you. Thanks.